Are you looking for a way to make quality social media posts? Stay tuned. How's it going, Fit Pros? My name is Tyler Valencia, and I'm the president of Kips and Time to Train Fitness. Today, we're talking about a tool that I think every Fit Pro should be utilizing to build their business or themselves on social media. That is Canva. So what is Canva? Canva is an online tool that anybody can use, not just Fit Pros, but anybody from any industry can utilize. But in my opinion, it's one of the best tools that Technically, it's free. They do have a paid option, but it's a free option that Fit Pros can utilize to brand their posts and make quality social media posts for any platform and honestly stand out. So, who is this video for? This is a video for Fit Pros that are struggling to make consistent quality content or they want to learn more about how to make branded social media posts and they don't know where to start. So in this tutorial and in this review, I'm gonna talk about Canva a little bit more, give you two reasons on why you should use it, and then actually jump into Canva to show you how to make one post. So we'll get to that later on, but let's start talking about Canva and I'll give you two reasons in terms of why you should be using it. Before we get to tip number one, what is the price? Like I mentioned, it is a free option, so they have a free option, and that's the one that I'm gonna be utilizing when I jump into it. But if you pay for the paid version of it, it's $12.95. I actually utilize that with my businesses, and it's a great tool for it. But tip number one, let's get to it. Templates, tons of templates, professional looking templates that, in my opinion, you don't have to be a graphic designer and you can have very little experience in terms of using Canva. It does, of course, take practice. You're gonna have to practice, just like anything, exercise or learning a new skill. It takes practice to get more comfortable with it, learn it, learn all the different tools for utilizing Canva, but the templates that are a part of it, it's really, really packed with some great options for you that you can utilize for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, tons of different platforms. So a lot of options out there for you. And really, even holiday posts, let's say Father's Day, 4th of July, Christmas, Hanukkah, tons of them out there that you just quickly search them and boom, they pop up. Now tip number two in terms of why you should be using Canva, and this one does utilize the professional, the pro count a little bit more, but it's the branding. If you pay the $12.95 per month, you could upload your logo, you could upload your specific company colors, and they're really at your fingertips. Of course, you could do them the cheap way, do them free, and you just pull them each time up and you can click and it will load some of the more recent colors in there. And I can show you that once we do our demo. But really, if you pay for the branded kits, the pro account, that stuff is just at your fingertips and it's so quick. As a fit pro, you're constantly doing multiple things. You're marketing yourself, you're getting your program set, and you're trying to attract new clients. So. Being efficient, saving time with the pro account is a big benefit in my opinion. So for example, you wanna make a post, you got a great clip from training your class or training your client and you wanna put your logo and maybe a little quick text on it. Not only can you put your logo on it, but you can put animated text that flies and you can put music on it, you can remove the sound from your video. A lot of great options with this that you'll probably be amazed at in terms of how easy it is. You don't need to be a graphic designer like I already mentioned, and it really makes sure that you're putting your branding on every single post. Let's now get to the demo and create one post within Canva. So I'm within the free version of Canva now, and I'm going to be utilizing a template that if you take our core social media for fitness professionals, some of this stuff will look familiar. In here, I've already created a logo. I have a Facebook banner background and then a little template for Instagram. So I'm going to be using these tools, but also a clip from Time to Train Fitness, one of the instructors, a cycling instructor to make an Instagram post. So if you just search in the top here, Instagram, templates are going to come up. Instagram post with the dimensions ready put into it. So this is a square one. 
Here is a portrait one. So there's a lot to look at. As I mentioned, is one of the big tips of using Canva is all the templates here. Great option that are pre-built into it. And that's not all that's in there. You can see just at the top here, all these different items that you could utilize for building your business. So let's click on the Instagram post. And with this, some of the items are already pre-built into it. The text, the fonts are all part of this fictitious company's branding. So what I'm gonna do now is upload a video clip to be able to utilize. So this video clip right here from Time to Train Fitness has loaded. Let's say that this template, which I found in Canva and then I tweaked it for all the branding of this fictitious business. If I want to keep that, I don't want to mess with this template. I can actually duplicate this page and one with the same exact features will be added right below it. Before I add the video clip, let's just take a quick look at the items that are part of this free account. So they have lines and shapes, graphics, stickers, photos, videos that you can utilize. This symbol here is the pro symbol. So that is something that you don't have access to, but if you did get the pro account, those would be unlocked. And also on the sides here, that's when you get the pro account, music, other op video options, longer video options, more of those will become available to you and the ability to actually edit this image even further becomes a part of Canva as well. So background remover, which is a great tool becomes available to you as well. So if I go to over here, I can also see text options that are already built into Canva here. You can see again, the pro options, but let's get back to this Instagram video post that we're gonna be making. So I have my video clip here and I'm gonna be putting it on top of this post right here. So what I'm gonna do, just drag it over and it's gonna immediately load into it. It might take a couple seconds. And it automatically plays, so I paused it, but I wanna make a couple adjustments here. I actually want this instructor, Brooke, to appear a little bit bigger within it, so I just stretched it out. And then this clip alone is 53 seconds, kinda of long. I'm gonna trim that up just a tad. Can you put that? Where else? So I only want this to be about 18 seconds. That's just based off. I've seen this clip a few times. I know where the good parts are in it. So there's 18 seconds right there that I trimmed it to. And looking at it, it looks great. But maybe I want to tweak some of the colors a tad. Some of the, make that stand out a little bit more. I'm going to change that color that blends in too much so we'll keep that and maybe just make this a tad bit bigger move it down it's right away solid clip from just using a template that was already loaded into Canva. And all I need to do now is just export it. So when you export it, you have the options up here. Let's say it was an image. You can do a JPEG, PNG, PDF. So if you're doing it as an image, first two options, but MP4 video. And then I just want the second one to export right there. And all I have to do is select download. But that's really all it takes really a great option to play with and start to build your business that way with social media posts that are branded with your colors, with your fonts and start to play with create consistent content that comes out. That's from your business. Now, a couple final thoughts before we end this video here. First, it takes time. And I know I mentioned this one, but it's going to take time to learn the ins and the outs of Canva, how to remove a background. If you have the pro account, how do you add your branding kit, creating templates for each platform, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever that might be. It's going to take time, but evolve with it, evolve, try new things and don't just get stuck in using one template create new ones, try them out in your free time. Maybe you're laying in bed or you're traveling somewhere, bust out Canva, make a couple templates and see what you think about it. And also look on social media. You might be surprised just scrolling through the templates 
what you find? You'll be like, oh, I've actually seen somebody use that before. Happens to me all the time when I'm scrolling through YouTube. I see a thumbnail image. I'm like, I've seen that one on Canva. So you might be surprised as well with that. My last final thought is in regards to the branding kit. That's something that I've mentioned in quite a few videos, lectures more recently, is your branding kit. When you use your colors, your fonts that are associated with your business, people start to recognize them. And in my opinion, it's a great way to elevate your business from just a small business to a professional looking business. When people know that that's your font, they know your logo, all those items, they know that it's a great investment for them. So when you're competing in a global market or in a market online, you wanna be able to showcase that you are a professional. So utilize your fonts and your colors and with Canva, preloading them in, it just makes it that much easier. That's been it for this review and tutorial on Canva. Hopefully it's been helpful. Make sure to check the link in the description. That is an affiliate link that gives us a little credit for showing you Canva. It's in the description, go check it out. Make sure you check out our other videos out there on the Kips YouTube channel. We hope they're helpful, but until the next one, I'll see you next time.